Well, I had a mystery box show up at the store right behind me, and I figured this would be a great opportunity to, for me to uh, open it up on camera and see what we got. So without further ado, I'm going to switch the camera around and do some um, unboxing. I, I peeked inside the flap. It looked like some cool stuff. I figured, hey, let's go through it together. So uh, let's get ready to do an unboxing. Okie dokie. So on occasion, I have folks that send me um, mystery boxes. This is a big one. So this uh, is the message I got that said, here's some things I've been hanging on to for years I don't really need from a James Parker. And uh, James said, hey, I, I don't need this stuff. Maybe you have a use for it. So let's open up the box and see what we got. So nice early edition of Daniel. But look at the graphics on this thing. Let's see, what year would this be from? Probably, I'm going to say 1920s or so. Great artwork throughout. And a beautiful looking book. Nice little Daniel, Daniel Boone book right there. Die cast, what so looks like about a 47 Chevy torpedo back, like a Style Master or something. Has a little bit of a broken wheel, but that's okay. That's fixable. And we've got Mickey. It's a Mickey Mouse piggy bank. He's not wearing a cowboy hat, so I guess he's not a Texas Mickey. My friend Paul's hanging out back there. <laughs> he was, uh, we were having a peek. So we've got a Mickey Mouse. And let's see, packing chips. It's kind of fun. It is, you know, it's always exciting to go through these things. You have no idea what you're gonna get. Crown Royal. Okay. A lot of times, in Canada at least anyway, you see a Crown Royal bag like that, you often will find marbles inside. Oh, look, there's a Hopalong Cassidy cup. That's cool. I'm going to put that inside the basket there. Probably one of the most marketed cowboys of all times, Hopalong Cassidy made a fortune off of selling lunch kits and all sorts of other things. Apparently cups too. My Monty Python Flying Circus complete collection. My dad would have appreciated that. He was a big Monty Python fan. I grew up watching this stuff with him. This is John Cleese. I saw an interview with John Cleese, and, he, and they said, why are you still touring after all these years? He said, I've been divorced like four times. I'm broke. <laughs> a little toy car. This looks like a Matchbox model of yesteryear. He did a wonderful job packing everything, too. There's all sorts of styrofoam chips. I'm kind of just putting loot away. Oh, look, here's a Donald Duck. Another piggy bank. So we've got Mickey, we've got Donald. I wonder if there's others. Let's see, what else? Oh, there's another car. You guys see it right there? Model of yesteryear. It would have a little back seat normally that plugs in there. Vintage matchbox. And of course, I do collect... Old Matchbox, Dinky, Corgi toys, old Red Line Hot Wheels, old Hot Wheels in general. So anytime I come across something like that, it's always kind of fun because I have a personal interest in that sort of thing. Uh, let's see. This feels like a dish of some sort. Maybe it's an ashtray. Hey, Paul. Maybe. Do you want to help me with this? Because I'll, I'll be the cameraman if you want to be the opener. Right. You guys remember Rock and Roll Paul? Wait, hang on. Oh, I can't zoom in. Rock and Roll, <laughs> Rock and Roll Paul. <laughs> well, yeah, there we go. Oh, do you want to? Let's see what's in here. Let's see what's in there. Bravera. I, I'm well, guessing it's an ashtray. It's probably an ashtray, and I bet you it's it's a. Uh, see, I think we've got we've got some uh, some Chinese oh, writing there. <laughs> yeah, good old <laughs> German beer. It is German beer. Yeah, what's in the little case? Niedelhaster. And in this case, what, what do we got? Oh, some, was We've it Shirley Temple? Shirley Temple. And Shirley Temple. And. Uh, oh, what's that guy's Stalin? name? <laughs> no, it's not Stalin. It's the other dude. Oh, it's Lenin. Lenin. Yeah. Vladimir Lenin. When you say I'm a big fan of Marx and Lenin, Groucho Marx and John Lennon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but ding ding. Okay. That's pretty neat. Yeah. The little Shirley Temple badges are, are original. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Now I'm curious to know. Real old timey. Oh, look. 
Is this an actual buck knife in here? Well, let's, let's open see. that up and see. Let's put this back in the, in the bag for you. I'm worried my camera's gonna die before. Oh, it's coins. Coins. Cool. It's worth more than a buck. Oh, and there's a cool lighter in there. We've got a 1919 Canadian penny. Yeah. All right. We've, you know, it's there, there it's is, they're not meant to be octagon shaped. Somebody's smushed that one, but we've got a lighter from Berlin. Cool. Souvenir lighter. Well, and I noticed a lot of Deutsch marks and stuff, so I'm guessing this is a German family or like they had some German background. And, buck knife. and it, the buck knife's actually in there. Well, it's got the buck knife case. Let's open it up and. Oh yeah, it's a buck knife. Good quality knife. Buck one model one twelve made in USA. That's a good early knife. That's probably from the 70s, I'm going to say. It's a really nice one. Maybe from the 60s? No, probably it's 1970s. I with things like this, too, the case is worth almost as much as a knife. Oh, to have the box in the case is a oh, big yeah. bonus. Okay, let's see. What is it? Oh, another ashtray, I think. This one's carved out of a piece of stone. Yep, stone ashtray. Maybe it's for the stoners? Fred and Barney? That is, that's, what is that... Uh... Like a thing. Yeah. Cool. Oh. Moo cow creamer. Moo cow creamer. Why do I remember? I feel Classic like 60s, 70s. <laughs> but I feel like my grandma might have had something like that. That seems like I feel like I've had. You know, if you if you shopped at Zellers or Woco, Woolworth, just about anywhere probably sold these things. And it's a novelty that never gets exhausting. Hmm. <laughs> 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 Star Trek the original series on DVD. Oh, here's little boxes are fun. Well, let me see what's in that one. Well, let's see in this. It says uh, something. It says something. Writing is English. I'm not sure. It's uh, Bring in the expert who speaks this strange language. It's cursive and it says Kirk's Folly. Okay. Oh. So we've got a pearl necklace. Yeah, you know the way to tell if it's real, right? You rub it on your teeth. You, yeah, but who knows where these, I mean. What are you well, you know, you want somebody that, there's probably, your wife will probably eyeball it right off the bat. No, you have to rub it on your teeth. <laughs> and, but she if you, rub it on her own teeth. if you look at a pearl necklace, each, if each one is individually knotted, that's a good sign, which this yeah. is. Um, if, they're if they're all identical, that's. Uh, that's a bad sign yeah. if they're all identical. They could be cultured, but you want to see them where they're actually all different. Yeah. Um, so <coughs> they could be costume jewelry, likely. They're nice, though. Yeah. Oh, sure. You know, when you get some, when life hands you pearls. Even if they don't have a lot of culture. Uh, ha. <laughs> you're, you're strong with the dad jokes today. <laughs> this feels like, I feel like that might be a knife, so careful. This is uh, what I'm. What I'm gonna. I'm gonna assume you're right. That it's a knife. Yeah. Ah, it's not a knife. It looks like a th like throwing knives or maybe like a pocket knife no, of some I kind. Would say it's a pocket knife. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. It's just good utility pocket knife. Handy. A Gerber. So oh, it's a quality. quality it's a good quality one. Yeah. Oh, there's another one here too. And it's not the same company that makes the baby food. Yeah, Gerber doesn't do knives and baby. <laughs> when you get your your pablum or whatever, they don't give you a free knife in every box. <laughs> that would be quite the cross promotion though. Gerber Knives, sponsoring Gerber Baby Food. Oh, look at that's a nice little pocket knife. And another one. Yeah. With a with a. Is it shred? That's a, was that tortoiseshell? No. No, um, abalone. Yeah, abalone. Yeah. I used uh, to like abalone sandwiches. <laughs> that's when you eat one bologna oh, sandwich. Engraved. Oh, I'm just digging out it's more a, stuff. It's, a, it's engraved and stamped, and it's stainless, 440 stainless. So it's a. Uh, that's a nice again, piece. Also a quality. Okay, there's mystery bag. Mystery bag. I see customers thinking about coming in. They're going to think I'm crazy just talking to my camera. What's this guy doing? Is he supposed to be running a business or digging through a All box right. with a bunch of people? We've got a made in Western Germany bracelet. But if it, it's not Bakelite, though. I don't think it's Bakelite. No. It is plastic. I would say Lucite. Hello. Hello. How's it going? Good. You? I'm good. Don't mind me if you hear me talking to myself or my friend Paul. We're just digging through a box. Okay. If you need anything, just shout. This is the, the craziness that's happening here today. I'm going to have to dig through the rest of this and see if I missed anything. And you've got this. Wow. 
a little a little booty of uh rings okay well i'll have to take that home to listen this is quite the little treasure trove some semi, some semi precious oh that looks like like a cracker jack sort of ring yeah, that one it's adjustable which is good everybody which is cool hang on there's something inside of this this is quite the little score it was very nice of him to send this to me well it's got a detective on it so i bet you this is like a dick tracy or something oh yeah that's a dick tracy ring yeah yeah which is really cool that's really cool yeah. little hummel dick tracy morris hummel and that's heavy. Yeah, it is. Here's your look heavy. Hang on. I'm, I'm digging water. to see if I missed anything. It's the brass waterman. I'll have to go through the box a little bit more thoroughly. Quite the bit of loot that came out of here already, though. I mean, bags of rings and coins. Oh, quality pocket This knives. was in there. All old... German, like, world currency, but there's some really old... Oh, that's... Is this World War II German? No, 1922. A hundred marks. Here. John Wayne. The Duke's autograph. What? Well, I'll tell you, partner. Good luck. You know, that is how he signed. He used to sign, good luck, John Wayne. Good luck. Whoa. Good luck. Maybe he was being sarcastic. Maybe somebody said, I'm going to make a whole bunch of money off of this autograph. And he said, good luck. What? <laughs> John, no, this is probably something that he probably carried these around. Like people would recognize him. He probably said, he should have signed. Oh, his name was really Marion, right? Yes, it was. Oh, another matchbox. His name was Mary. He should have signed it Marion and just threw them right off. Good luck. Good luck, Pilgrim. John Wayne. Good, yeah, good luck, Pilgrim would have been awesome. Some really neat stuff coming out of here. No bouncing around in here. Uh, it's sterling silver. This is like a little treasure box. Another... Uh... Knife, what, does it have a brand name on it? Oliver something? I'm not sure, I can't read the, I can't Let's read Let's see if writing. I can make it out. Once again, cursive. Oliver, oh, it's a Winchester. Winchester, there you go. Well, it the says. Winchester family? Well, it says Winchester on it. Well, I would say that's what it's from. Right? Not from Winchesterton Fieldville, Iowa? <laughs> can't, what movie was that from again? Maybe it's, maybe it's Bob Winchester. Bob Winchester. <laughs> Winchester. Is that it? I think so. It might be a... It's like you, it's snowing popcorn chips in the store now. I should put a whole bunch of that stuff in my hair and tell Melissa that I opened up a box full of stuff. So this is all various finds and things that, uh, that came it. my way. That might be it. Well, that's pretty cool. I think that's a pretty decent haul of stuff. I mean, I, I, I feel honored that he sent this stuff to me. I mean, yikes. I, I almost, you know, is, it's is just, a, yeah, it's a bunch insane. of really cool stuff. Well, heck, how about that? Hey, Marion Morrison. There you go. That was John Wayne's real name. Marion Morrison. So I, Hey, you never know what's going to come in the mail. And uh, today I ended up with a whole bunch of cool little treasures. Um, let's see. What are my top, what are your favorites, Paul? The Dick Tracy ring. I think that's really, yeah. Cool. Where is that's that? Really cool. Dick Can Tracy you ring is cool. The joy that that kid had when he received that ring in the mail. Yeah, you probably had to. Beside himself with excitement. You probably had to get your Dick Tracy decoder ring. You probably had to. Yeah, it says Dick Tracy right on it. <laughs> yeah. Probably a lot of a lot of box tops off of Cracker Jacks and stuff. It looks to me like you might have been able to put something secret inside of here. Like it has a little compartment that might open on it. That's very cool. A secret message. Like a secret message. I always remember the movie Radio Days, and he sent away for his little orphan Annie decoder ring. And it was just, uh, or no, that was that in was Christmas, Christmas story. story. That was in Christmas story, yeah. Eat more oatmeal? No, no. Drink Ovaltine. your oval teen. <laughs> and he's all mad about Eat it. I, I wonder what Dick Tracy would have said. Justice. Well, with that and my cuckoo clock, I wound, we wound this thing up today and it's been, uh, it's been going off all day. I'm going to see if I can make it go again. Do, 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 do. Oh, hang on. Maybe Moved the wrong close. hand what i get when i try and do two things at the oh just one that's all i get okay let's see if i can get making come out again 
Oh, I missed it. All right. Well, anyway, the cuckoos have it. I think that's a wrap for me today. Um, thanks for helping me, Paul. Hey, that's what I'm here for. Oh, and... I was actually on my way to the hardware store, but, uh, you know... <laughs> you got sidetracked with me sidetracked. and my tomfoolery. <laughs> yeah. And I, on the other hand, have been getting this showcase. This was the broken showcase. I painted it crazy colors on purpose. And I'm getting ready to put something kind of special in here. You guys will have to tune in to see what the, uh, what the next videos are going to be. Uh, oh, Paul, people, people that are watching live are sending you all kinds of hearts. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. Uh, that was for whoever Louise is. I guess. There, there you go. Um, so thank you guys for watching today's little live feed video. Um, I've got some cool stuff. I've got some cool things that I've got to put away, but thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you all soon. Stay tuned for another video soon. Bye for now.